Well, good morning everyone. It's June 9th. Dave here for today's vlog. Um, it rained heavy last night, which is great because I planted my green beans yesterday. Anyway, I'm having my cup of tea. Already fed the puppies. And I'm going to sit down to edit a little bit, check my email and stuff. And edit yesterday's vlog, so that'll be coming out today. Anyway, I don't know what else is in store yet. A uh, little of this and a little of that. I'll see you along the way. So I'm out in the yard and it's a beautiful morning. I'm watching the dogs, but I, I had this big circle from where I had, I had a big, one of my round stacks of wood. Um, I'll show you guys. You can see that I got one of those round stacks back there with the blue tarp on it. That's how I season my wood in those round stacks. Anyway, the one that was here was much bigger. Uh, it was a big stack, about um, almost two cord. But now I have this, and I was going to go get some soil and spread that, you know, even that off and then plant grass there. But I thought, you know, corn likes to be grown all next to each other. And I got some corn seed. So I'm going to plant that up of corn. Hey, Beeb. I got to go look for the corn seeds, Beeb. We're going to plant some corn. Okay, so here's... I got a lot of seeds, but this is just part of them, but um, hopefully I can find, I know I bought some corn seeds because I wanted to grow some corn, and I think they're from last year, but they'll be fine. Okay guys, there we are. $8, 250 seeds. So we got Bilicious Hybrid Sweet Corn. So we'll go, we'll plant that up this evening when it gets a little cooler. So high quality eight foot by oh eight inch bicolor ears with good husk protection. Six to seven foot plants. So in full sun after danger of last spring frost. So you uh, bury them uh, one inch deep. Rows two to three feet apart. So I'll do. I'll do circle circles in that circle garden. You got to be in every video, huh? Okay. So guys, I like to do the intermittent fasting, what they call intermittent fasting. So basically, I try to eat everything in an 8-hour window and then not eat for 16 hours. I usually don't make it the whole 16 hours, but like usually I'll eat my first meal around noontime. And I've been doing it, and I like it, and it seems to suit me now, so I'm just keeping up with it. But, um, so today it's about 11.15. I haven't eaten, I don't know, from like, I was eating pretty late last night, which is bad. Um, probably like 9 o'clock, so probably, I'm only probably at about, f uh, yeah, 14 hours. Yeah, or, yeah about 14 hours. Um, without food. So ideally you go 16 and you eat in an 8 hour window. And I'm having a big bowl of vegan soup like a minestrone and some toast with coconut oil. And so I'm going to enjoy this. And uh, get on with my day. So we got a little water in the basement. And I went to open up that door, and there's a copperhead, I believe. I'm not sure if it's a copperhead or not. Could be. He wants to get out. So I'll um, post a picture or a video, see if I can get someone to ID this for me.
Let me see if I can click a pick. I think he's getting out. He was laid up under the edge of the door. I want to go open that door. That's the crack they're coming in and that's where the... That's the crack they're coming in. It was a garden snake last year. But um, that's why I got to fix that crack. I meant to do it. I did all this other cement work down here and I just forgot at the end there. But I'm going to dig up that corner on the outside put plastic against it and then I'm going to cement that in. So guys, this is the uh, this is where he came. He might be under the lip of that door still. I have to do it by the handle. Alright, I don't see him. So he must have gotten out over this side. Oh, I do not like snakes, guys. I'm alright with garden snakes and stuff like that. But when they start to look like the ones that could kill you, uh, then I get a little concerned. Now, I didn't really get a close enough look at that one, and it was kind of young, so I couldn't tell, but it looked like it could have been a copperhead. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can um, get any any uh, anybody to ID that on Facebook or somewhere else. I didn't have my phone. Well, I had my phone, but I was trying to film with the camera, video camera. But the iPhone now, you can take a picture and it, it'll ask you if you want it to be identified and it'll tell you what you're looking at. But anyway, um, either way, he's out of the basement and moved along somewhere and that's going to make me want to fix that, that little issue I have there where there's a little cement missing and that the water's been leaking in. So we didn't get a ton of water in the basement, but we had some puddling. And uh, it's been something I've been meaning to get to. So just another one of those things. You know, guys, there's always things. I'm supposed to fix the drippy sink. I'm supposed to fix the cellar door. Uh, i got to plant the corn. i got to do this and that. Anyway, um, I'm glad I'm done with that snake. Okay, so I'm in the car, and I'm going to go. I'm going to head out to our uh, job lot store, which is like... Uh, I don't know it's a it's a, uh, a store where it's like a department store but you can buy some they have some plants out front in the summertime they have a garden section they have food a little bit of this and that um, anyway I'm gonna go down there see if they got any plant starts I'm gonna plant the corn tonight I'm getting the bed ready but it's pretty hot right now so I figured I'd go down and see if I can get anything else put in the other garden and then all the uh, all the bark from the wood that I put up in the garage last week, the bark fell off and it was all in front of the garage and I cleaned it all up and I was going to burn it in the burn barrel and then I said no I'm going to put it into the, I'll just throw it in the woods in a pile, in the brush pile. Then I realized that'll be perfect mulch so I'm going to save that and after I weed the garden I'll just break it up or I'll use it in big pieces and uh, use it as mulch. So. Uh, yeah, you know, you got to think outside the box, but so many things will make good mulch. You could use cardboard, you could use bark, you can use straw, hopefully that's been heated up so that the weed seeds are killed. Um, but yeah, I would try to use up, uh, use up what we have. I can't see buying anything like mulch, you know. You can get leaves, use your leaves from last year's raking. Um, yeah, so that's just an idea. Anyway, I'm going to go to the store. We'll see what we can get. So there it is, Ocean State Job Lot. And it looks like they have some plants out there. And I think they have some plant starts out there, hopefully. Tomato plants, some pepper plants, basil. Pretty much stuff I already have. But I might get another pepper plant. Maybe these Italian peppers would be nice. And I only got two tomato plants. That's not like me. So I might get something else. Let's see what I end up with. Okay, so I wanted to get something more like eggplant, cucumbers, melons, squashes, but basically 
over here it's not a garden center they just have a few things so they generally just have tomatoes and peppers and maybe some herbs so I got these Liberty peppers giant Marconi Italian peppers so even though I didn't really care about peppers and tomatoes I figured the tomatoes are great because I love them dried so no matter what variety even these big slicing variety like this one I got is a brandy brandy man heirloom and I like when I can get heirlooms because then I know if I want to I can save the seeds for and grow the same plant next year whereas when you buy the heirloom I mean the uh, hybrids you're not going to get the same plant if you plant the seeds you'll get something but you won't get the plant that you planted anyway um, yeah like I say it's always good to have extra tomatoes and peppers and we can dry them so we're good I'm gonna get them um, I may start some squash some winter squash or something like that I really think winter squash is a good uh, long-lasting crop even if you just keep it you know in the cool place you'll get two three months out of it and uh, so that's a good one plus I love winter squash and uh, I had to buy some junk food Look at that candy bar. Five dollars for a pound of Belgian chocolate. Um, so that's a good deal, you know, when you compare it to buying the individual bars. Of course, I'll, I'll probably break it up and put it in little baggies in the freezer so that I don't uh, eat too much of it at a time. And apple pie cookies. Yeah, that's right. I checked them out and they're vegan and uh, non-GMO. Anyway, yeah, I had these before and they were very good. So, uh, yeah, you never know what you're going to find in this store. It's always different. But sometimes, like those apple cookies, I've had those before and they're very good. Anyway, I'm going to get back home. And I think I'm going to have a cup of green tea. Looks like we're going to get a storm, guys. Okay, so I just got back and... Um, brought these into the greenhouse like I said I'm not sure if I'm gonna do them in soil or hydroponics uh, but for now this one is pretty dry so I'm gonna water it on top side and I'm gonna leave some in this little bowl here that's a that's what I do if I'm gonna need something um, not gonna plant it for a while and it's pretty hot and um, that way I know it's it's taken care of for at least today and tomorrow, half a day tomorrow. Leave a little down there. Plus that gets it used to being ready for hydroponics. So I'm out with the dogs in the yard, uh, but I wanted to share a little story with you guys. Hold on a second, Tia's going where she shouldn't. Hey Tia, good girl. Okay, sorry. Um, anyway, the last time I saw a snake in that stairwell was about a year ago and there was a spider on the wall in the basement about as big as my hand I wish I had the video on that one but anyway I don't kill anything uh, that's just part of what I yeah I just don't I, I just took a vow a long time ago to do no harm do as little harm as possible being alive here and um, so I don't kill anything that said I do believe in self-protection you know, if uh, someone attacks me, um, you know, I'm going to defend myself. I think you will instinctually, whether you uh, don't want to or not. Um, but anyway, <laughs> um, so the last time I was taking the spider, I had trapped him in a Tupperware container, slid a piece of paper, a uh, piece of cardboard over the, you know, I, I had him on the wall, so I put the Tupperware container on him, and then I slid the thin sheet of cardboard over that. And I had them in the container with that lid on it. And so I opened that basement door. And in that bulkhead area was the snake sitting there at the top step coiled up. So I got a spider in one hand. And the only way to get him out is out past that snake. Anyway, fortunately that time it was a garden snake. And I wasn't too worried about it. And he did end up taking off. Um, but it was just funny because I had the damn spider. And I opened up the, the, the door. And there in the hatchway is a snake sitting there looking at me. So anyway, but uh, this one, I'm, I was concerned that it's a copperhead. So uh, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta make a positive ID on that. But either way, the the um, the thing is to block him from being able to come in there. And 
I got the problem with the water anyway so nine times out of ten it's our own fault if you know if stuff is getting into our house that we got to find out where they're getting in and uh, take care of that but anyway guys um, that's just a little story that brought up the memory of that last time I saw a snake in that little stairwell so we live in an old house this was an old hunting camp actually and part of our house was one of the cabins the back of my studio was one and then there was two other ones down in the back of this property um, that were torn down but they were all little hunting cabins and my studio was built onto one and my house was built onto one um, so you know it's it's a it's a rustic place it's it's got it's got its issues but we love it I gotta get back in and uh... there she is hi baby she usually likes to run around like do like three good runs around the yard and just like a bullet she just needs to do that every every hour or so every every couple hours until you just gotta blast out she's just such a puppy still All right, you want to go ahead and get a cookie? So I made a pretty big dinner tonight. We have sautéed portobello mushrooms. We have fishless filet uh, made by Gardein. We have some sautéed carrots. We have a corn, spicy vegan corn patty that resembles chicken, but it's made out of mycoprotein, um, fungus, mushroom family. Um, and we have two baked potatoes, which I'm going to put some coconut oil and some of these beautiful broccoli microgreens all chopped up on top of. So we'll enjoy that. And then we're going to probably go down the beach again and take the puppies for a walk. And maybe we'll see the geese. Okay, guys. So it's just about the end of the day. It's, I don't know, it's 7 o'clock. Um, we're kind of tired. I wanted to go down to the beach, but my wife is tired. I'm tired. I didn't get to plant the corn yet. I'm uh, hoping I get a second wind and I'll go out there and plant the corn. But if I don't, <laughs> I guess the corn is going in tomorrow. You know, you got to do what you can. As you get older, you know, um, well, I'm 58. And I guess you notice the slowdown in the, you know, well, you notice the slowdown probably late 40s. Uh, but you really notice it more in the, you know, after 55. I think I noticed it a lot more after 55. Uh, but, of course, it's different for all of us. We're all aging at a little bit different of a pace due to our genetics and our lifestyles and whatnot. Um, but you got to listen to your body and, do uh, you know, live from where you're at. Do the best you can and uh, take care of yourself the best you can. Listen to yourself. That's all. Anyway, I guess that's it for today's vlog. I'm gonna, um, I might have a little more footage with the with the puppies outside or something. I'll throw in, but uh, I guess that's it for today. And uh, today's theme, I guess, because of that little snake that we ran into, I guess the theme is, you know, um, we try to do no harm, but we'll, of course we must protect ourselves. You know, um, <clears throat> or at least that's my thoughts. And that's what I how I try to live. But I'm going to dig up that corner of that um, bulkhead area and I'm going to put plastic in on the outside and then backfill it. And then I'm going to cement in a little crack. I, it, even if I just put the cement, that would do the job. But I figured doing the uh, plastic on the outside still might help even more um, against us getting any water coming in down through that stairwell. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you're all well, and I'll see you again in another vlog soon. Bye-bye.